Hello everybody, I wanted to put out a video as a follow-up to the survey we put out about qualified immunity. As you're aware, David Roger, our attorney, pushed out some information to you all about qualified immunity on the state level. And we followed it up with a survey to talk to our members about how important it is to them. Of course, a lot of people ask, well, Steve, it's kind of a no-brainer, isn't it? And in a way it is, and in a way it isn't. Uh, the first thing I'd like to say is thank you. Uh, we had a huge response to the survey. I attribute that to our board of directors and our delegates being active in your briefings, getting you engaged, and giving you the information they did. We had about 1,858 surveys cast out of 3,200 potential surveys to be done. By comparison, these numbers percentage-wise are higher than our contract ratifications as well as our sheriff's endorsement. I thought this was pretty telling and it shows that we want to be more engaged and more involved. So the reason behind the survey was to find out from you how this affects the way you police. Some of the comments that people responded with were, without qualified immunity, I won't go out and be proactive. I may look for a new profession. And several times people have said, I've already looked to another police department who supports their police with qualified immunity at the state level. These things were impactful for us to push to the legislative body as this legislative session moves forward. With the help of David and John Abel, we've crafted a, a legislative bill that deals with state level qualified immunity. We feel it's important. We feel it affects more than police. It affects the private citizens and the safety in their businesses as well. So again, I wanna tell you that we really appreciate the response to this email that although it may seem that these are pretty easy to answer questions from police officers, that it's important for us to give to the legislature so that John Abel can hand them documents that show how many people are engaged and what it means to them to have the protections in their profession. So if you have any future questions, concerns, hopefully you're tracking John Abel's legislative bill tracker on our PPA webpage. But as always, if you have questions related to everything uh, law enforcement or anything through the legislative process, reach out to myself, reach out to the members of the executive board, and please reach out to David. He's one of our most useful tools that we have, especially as it relates to questions related to search and seizure. So again, thank you for your membership. Thank you for doing the survey and continue to do the hard work that you do. One of them, one of them.